Hi there boys and girls and moms and dads of kindergartners and TKers. Today I'm going to talk to you about reading. Uh, lately we've been reading a lot and if you're someone like me who reads at nighttime, reads um, before dinner, reads uh, in the morning, just constantly reading, 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 you will be known as someone who's an avid reader. I challenge you to read under the table with a flashlight, read outside um, under a tent, um, lying on your picnic table. Just have fun with your reading. Become an avid reader. Don't be a blah reader or a robot reader. Make sure you are practicing reading like you talk and that you're an avid reader. Um, send me a picture of where are some of the fun places that you read or even what you're reading. Now, let's talk about the four kinds of reading that you could be doing. A read aloud is when mom or dad does all the work for you. All you do is sit and listen and think about the words that um, somebody's reading to you and you talk about the pictures. Red is my favorite color, so I'm gonna be the grown up. And if I do all the reading, that's a read aloud. If mom or dad reads most of the book, but you help them with some of it, that's called shared reading. And we do that a lot at school. I want you to continue to do that at home. Now, you should be trying to practice guided reading where you're doing most of the work and mom or dad are only helping a little bit. And as far as that's concerned, when you're reading and you come to a word you don't know, try different strategies. Don't just sit there, try sounding it out, try just word, writing it down on a post-it note and keep on going. But there's lots of things you can do. Don't just look up to mom or dad to read it for you. The last kind of reading is independent reading where you do all of the reading all by yourself. Those are the four kinds of reading and you should be doing lots and lots and lots of reading. I love reading, don't you? Reading is fun. Now, what can you read? You can read books from home. You can read little books or library books. You can read books off of Raz Kids. You can read books off of this new app we have called Seesaw. I sent mom and dad email, um, email directions. Another program I just put out there for you is called Get Epic. And it's got a lot of pretty illustrations and books. Try that one. Um, then there's also Skybrary that reads books to you as well. Um, it does not matter what you're reading. Just keep reading. That's what I have to say. Have fun with it, boys and girls. Bye.